What's going on you guys, TBR here, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video. And in today's video, we are going to be breaking down all of the key important details that were revealed during the latest King Opa Show live stream that was this morning. Of course, it did feature Ni nee and the rest of the cast. And the main topic was, of course, the Tekken 7 collaboration round two. And there are a lot of details that we need to go over. Now, I need to preface what we're about to talk about with some quick disclaimers. When it comes to any translations in today's video, most of these should be taken for what they are, which is very, very loose translations that are at times jumbled and at times very hard to discern much from. Some are better than others. Particularly, you will notice a huge difference when it comes to Nina's translations for the Bridal Nina versus any of the other characters. So really just take this as kind of an indication of what you're going to be seeing, but don't take it as gospel because chances are most of this stuff is going to be tough to discern much of any real details from in general, much less any major, major details from. But most of it is going to be at least somewhat legible, so that's nice. So, that being said, when it comes to anything else in here, there were a lot of things that were gone over. I'm going to just go ahead and give you guys kind of a collage of what was shown, and I'll talk over that. However, before we do that, one key thing I do need to get into before we get to the bullet points is the fact that we do have potentially some coupon codes that will be active tomorrow. Now these, I'm assuming based on what people are talking about, because there's a lot of people that are saying that these are going to be good in game for global as well tomorrow. So take that with a pinch of salt. I obviously don't speak Korean. They might have confirmed that on the live stream, but just in case these are going to be eligible for global, then you may want to go ahead and screenshot these and save these and then potentially net yourself some juicy rewards tomorrow when all this stuff goes live. Although, again, guys, I cannot 100% confirm that these are going to be good for global as well. It's just that there are a lot of people saying that that is what they said. So that is going to be something I just wanted to get out of the way real quick. So again, translations we're about to get to are going to be treated as loose translations. Some of them are very hard to discern much from, but we will get at least some details on what's going on with these kits. And I will have some of the more important details and clips from what we saw today included in here. So with that being said, you guys, before we go ahead and get into all of the details, make sure if you haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the details from the live stream for the King Opa show for the Tekken 7 collaboration round two. And I will see you guys on the other side. So first up here, let's talk about Devil Jin. As you guys can see, the loose translation for the leadership ability reads that he increases extreme fighters attack by 50% and their power gauge by 20%. 5%. That is extremely strong, no pun intended, if that is all correct. Now as far as the kit is concerned, I'm not going to get into this as if I know exactly how these kits are going to work. What I can tell you guys is the fact that we do appear as if we have a crit monster on our hands with Devil Jin. He does appear as though his kit is going to heavily rely on two main things, and that is a lot of damage and a lot of increases to his crit damage and crit rate. So that is one thing. Other things on here, we do have our standard hyper armor with interrupt. We also, of course, do have that charge skill on here. We have a really nice 20% reset, it appears, on one of the skills. And in general, this character is looking like he is going to be extremely strong. The thing we are waiting to hear on is going to be whether or not he is going to have a dot. We did not see any dots represented necessarily in any of the gameplay footage today, and we don't necessarily see anything confirmed here. So again, guys, keep in mind that all of this is subject to change and is very loose translations to say the least. And then finally, on the core finisher, we do have a 70% chance to reset all of our active skill cooldowns, which is always really nice to see. So now let's go ahead and move on. We're going to talk about the next character being Alyssa. Now again, guys, these are going to be very loose translations, but when it comes to this character, I'm actually very happy with what I'm seeing. Now we do have it confirmed she is going to have poison. We saw that in the gameplay footage. We are also going to see in this kit, not only the poison mentioned, 
mentioned, but we're also going to see Bleed mentioned, and we'll get to that when we talk about her finisher. However, as far as this character is concerned, I do think that she is looking like she is going to be very, very good. This is going to be an SS character and is going to be featured alongside EX Howrong and the regular Fess Nina for the first banner, which will be active tomorrow. And I do think that this is going to be the character that I am going to be trying to pinpoint off of that banner, mainly because not only does she look very strong based on what we can tell loosely here, but she also is going to be an SS I can build with generics. Now keep in mind right here guys, it says bleed and addiction, which means poison. This is a six times explosion on this core finisher if this translation is to be believed. So that is what we got for the loose translations for Alyssa. Let's take a look now at how wrong. Now this is the EX how wrong. He's going to increase Tekken fighters attack by 65%. And we already know he is a blue attack type. This is very good for a leadership ability for the Tekken fighters and really I do get the feeling that that is going to be where he's most PvE relevant based on what little we've seen. If we take a look at the kit, this character to me, and it definitely came off as such during the live stream, that this character was going to be strong, but he seems like he's built more for PvP, which is completely okay. That is not a problem whatsoever. It just appears as though this character is going to mostly be built for that mode or those modes as it were. So I do think that how wrong based on what we see here looks very strong and he looked like he was very strong on the stream however time will tell as far as cores are concerned and official translations for these skills as to how strong he is now when it comes to nina Nina is tough for me to get a read on, mainly because the translations are hard to read. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is the one that honestly I would take with the biggest grain of salt based on the translations because it's very hard to derive much from this. So I do think that this character, based on what we saw in the live stream, looked like she's going to be extremely good. But again, time will tell. We can't really tell much from all of this. These translations are tough when it comes to this one. So I'm going to reserve judgment on Nina based on what I'm seeing here, just from the translations I was getting. However, I do see that based on what we saw in the live stream from her gameplay, that there is a lot of potential for this character to be very, very good. And so I'm hoping that things pan out, especially considering most of us will be able to A3 her fairly easily. So that's pretty much what we've got as far as this character is concerned. What I thought was funny right here is you get to uninstall all enemies. So, but either way, good stuff overall. But really with this character she is going to have the flimsiest as it pertains to her translations so i would just be patient we don't have to wait much longer but that's the loose translations for the characters you guys as far as other things we got right here we have some exciting information so they did show off quite a bit when it comes to the new boss showdown mode and if you guys take a look here we are going to be able to see that we are going to get that little yellow line you see where your rewards are that goes up based on how many debuffs you choose to put on your so you get more rewards for clearing it with the mo more debuffs that you have applied to yourself. However, another big thing that we're about to see here is confirmation of the rewards. And this is looking like it is arguably going to be the most rewarding game mode in the entire update. So granted, we haven't seen everything, but right here, if we take a look, because they're about to click on that little, uh, that little magnifying glass, if I can think of the n word for that, but the magnifying glass right here, you'll see rubies, option cards, and then finally, the biggest thing here, we are going to see confirm the change up kit box so this is something we were all worried we weren't going to be able to get this time around after we saw what was in the special relay box if you guys want to check that out link is in the description to yesterday's video where we talk about that but that's what we have confirmed there guys extremely good rewards several thousand rubies and all sorts of good stuff now right here we are going to get our first look at some gameplay footage for the boss showdown boss showdown is looking like it is kind of similar to what we had with that previous we've had boss modes like this before loosely although this is an actual dedicated new mode however 
As far as structure is concerned, it's kind of similar to what we got with kind of the different boss raids we've had in the past. However, this time, obviously there are some very, very key differences like the debuff choosing, like the reward system, and basically most everything about it outside of the fact that you're just facing down a very, very vicious boss who is going to spam their finishers and make your life a living hell. That's really where the comparisons come to an end. But really, this boss, this Devil Jin, is looking like he is actually going to be a bit of a challenge which is a nice thing they did struggle a little bit to get through this one of the guys was actually able to get him down to around 50 percent but that was about it so time will tell on that you guys now we're going to go ahead and move on to some other things that were covered in here so as far as dream match is concerned we now have confirmation of who we are going to be getting as far as the random fighters involved with the dream match system so if you pick random as you guys can see we have some reskins some reskins of the training dummy however those re those reskins are actually pretty cool because it actually ended up being Tetsujin and Mokujin so that is what we are getting as far as the random fighters now what is cool about this you'll notice look at the skill icons this character has tons and tons of random skills that they can just throw out there from random characters throughout King of Fighters all-star which is really really cool in fact I believe uh, it's Tetsujin actually has the ability to just have random attacks everywhere like this one here I think is just a Kim clone but then the other one at one point because they did several different dream match matches with them ended up just having a bunch of different random skins from different characters so this is some fun stuff i get the feeling there's going to be a lot of people that are going to make some pretty fun meme videos based on what we got from this this did look like it was a lot of fun dream match is shaping up as long as the connectivity issues could get figured out to be a really fun game mode and i think that more people would really gravitate toward it if they could just figure out some of the connectivity issues for a lot of people out there me personally i haven't had as many problems i've actually been finding it fairly enjoyable but i can definitely see where a lot of people have problems so here's to hoping that eventually one day maybe that happens but i won't hold my breath for that but with that being said you guys various other things here here's a look at the main screen not much else we can derive from this you guys can see that basically this is going to be the way the main screen is going to look after the maintenance later on so not much to talk about here you can pretty much see exactly what we had come to expect when it comes to what we were going to be seeing with the update based on the update notices but then we have some looks at some trophies and tokens and so on not much to talk about there so we can kind of move on from this but the next big thing here of course is to confirm that the second banner down there in the bottom left corner as you can see will be ss howrong fest nina and devil Jin. And that about covers all of the main points that were in the live stream. Like I said, you guys, there were a few other things in there, but these are the main big talking points. So let's just go ahead and hop back into the face cam and get to the outro. Well, there you have it, you guys. All of the details that you need to know about the King Opa Show live stream for the Tekken 7 collaboration round two. So with all that out of the way, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get to. I just wanted to make sure that I gave you guys as many details as I possibly could, especially considering how long that live stream ran. I am running way behind today. So I need to get out of here. I hope you guys found it informative. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. Talk to me in the comment section about what you found to be the most interesting, important, information that we got out of this entire thing and i will tell you guys right now for me it was definitely boss showdown but anyway you guys that's going to be it for me the next time i see you all of this stuff will be in game except for the devil gin except for the devil gin banner what can you do but anyway you guys i will talk to you when all this stuff goes live and we will break it all down then but make sure that you get everything done before the maintenance this evening again you want to make sure you get your dailies finished up but anyway you guys i'll talk to you in the next one you all take care peace Continue.